extremely, extremely pleased to, to find a way down the stretch and, and send two kids. You know, they mean the absolute world to me and they mean the world to this culture. Um, and, and Carlin and Dexter, two kids that, again, I find myself saying it every year after, you know, two years ago with L.A., two years ago or last year with Corey and Chris, they really epitomize what we're about, selfless individuals um, that care about winning. And I think those two with Dexter coming off the bench, Carlin and the situation that we went through last year, and, and it wasn't about basketball why he wanted to come back. He just wanted to be back with his brothers, and I think that speaks to um, the individuals that we have within our program. And, and it was tough, um, a, just a gut check win. You know, like a guy like Kai plays 50 minutes, Paul plays 47, two other guys over 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 40. You know, just terrific. It was really Jason Miller time, something we stress. And, you know, credit Billy and, and, and WIU, they came in here. Garrett Covington is just, you know, a, a tremendous talent. I'm not going to be sad to see him go. Uh, we took every punch, uh, but I thought the Shield Center uh, was, was big because it gave us that boost we needed down the stretch. How did you keep your uh, wits about you? Uh, it, it got out of hand for a while, wasn't it? Well, yeah, and then, you know, um, it, it just, I think that's big for me with this young group, you know, there was the goal 10, non goal 10 call, questionable call there, you know, and I think what I'm learning with this group is they, you know, like every group, they, they feed a lot on, off on me and, you know, we weren't going to change that call as frustrated as we might have been at the time. Um, but it was just important that we can control what we control and, and finish things the right way. In terms of intensity, where does this rank among regular season games? Yeah, I mean, it was right there. And, and again, I, I, I please hear me. I don't want to take anything away from Western. They, they did a terrific job. And but when you go into a senior day, there's a, a lot of energy. There's a lot of different emotions. And you need to make sure you can channel that the right way. I didn't think we did for the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And, and they a team like that gains confidence. And, and they see the ball going through. And, and now we're just going to continue to take punches with them. And, and so uh, we've got to understand uh, that we'll, we'll learn from this win. But we need to be better, especially defensively. I mean, expectation-wise, I mean, how has this first year been here in the Shack for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's almost been, you know, beyond any expectation that we could have imagined. Um, the student section, you know, Sigurd in the band, uh, you know, the cheer team, just just top to bottom. And it's just so juiced and so loud in there. And um, I, I just really appreciative of it. Uh, you know, the big the big thing for us, the Shields Arena was terrific. And, and it was a great spot. But our biggest allies through this whole thing is our students. And, and when they come and get into it and, and support us, it's it's – Special. Definitely one of the uh, top five craziest games I've played. You know, um, I thought pretty much everybody played well. You know, um, it was great to have have Dex and Carlin. You know, go out their last game here. They they both played tremendous. Um, both made huge plays late down the stretch at the end of the second half and in both overtimes. Why do you think that this game turned out so differently than the previous time you played them? Um, you know, I got to give credit to them. They they knocked down a lot of shots. Um, um, it felt like we weren't kind of as locked in defensively. Didn't have as much energy as we did the fir over at their place. Um, just we let Covington get going. Obviously, he's a tremendous player, and, and he had a good game and kind of kept them in it. Being here on campus, how much does that help the atmosphere here at Shields, us, the Shields Center? Oh, it's huge. You know, I talk about it all the time that um, obviously it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful arena, but the fact that it's on campus is, is probably the nicest part about it. Um, you know, we three-day weekend here, so we didn't have as, as much students as we usually do, but they're always usually here loud. And, and uh, just tonight, like the past couple of weeks, we had – just a tremendous turnout from the fans, and, and they got into it and kind of carried us to a win there. They're getting on their feet. It felt to me like a football game. I mean, you've been to a lot of football games. Oh, yeah. Have a sense of that? Yeah, yeah, they were, they were great, you know. Um, it's always nice to, to make a nice play and, and, and have the crowd go crazy. That's, that's one of the best feelings when, as, a, as, a, as a sports player, you know, um, just getting, doing something to get the fans into it. And tonight they were big time again. There, when, when you guys are on defense, was it hard? Not really. No, um, you know, especially down the stretch. Um, you know, when I run back, sometimes I, I wave my arms, try to get the get the fans into it, but then that kind of messes us up where we can't hear each other, can't communicate as well. But I'll take the uh, ladder any day. How great does it feel to be able to send out the seniors with this kind of 
It's, it's great, you know. Um, I've been with both those guys for three years, love them both to death. Um, both great players, but even better, even better guys to be around every day. Um, and you saw the the reception that they got out there tonight. You know, the fans love them. Everybody loves them, and just big time to get them a win. We definitely didn't play some of our best basketball, and uh, and they really got going. They played really well. They hit a lot of shots. Uh, they had a good game plan, so you got to give them credit. But uh, we found a way to win, so that's what matters. You got to take some time to practice your cross court inbounds pass at all. <laughs> Um, he looks a big dude. I, I said we should have put those, uh, those screens on the sidewalls instead of in the middle. But yeah, I'd probably get that one a little lower if I ever have to throw one again. But I won't be throwing one here, so we'll see. How great does this one just feel in terms of regular season wins? Oh, uh, it's memorable. Obviously, senior night, that's already something uh, that you're going to remember. And then to uh, uh, grind out a double overtime win, it's obviously one that I won't forget. And then, you know, it's just special to. Uh, I have guys like myself and Carla make a lot of big plays down the stretch. You know, I just kind of noticed it in the back of my head, so I, uh, that was special. And then uh, just a big crowd, big, great crowd, great atmosphere. It was a fun one. Did you almost feel like in the second overtime they were kind of starting to fade a little bit and you guys were still kind of fresh? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think uh, we had that little extra burst in the tank. That's definitely a shout out to uh, Coach Miller there. That was uh, called the Coach Miller time. We definitely, uh, we definitely stayed. Stayed on the course, and I think we definitely had a little more in the tank than them at the end. You were back there freshman year. Did you ever imagine playing something like this in atmosphere like this your senior year? Um, no, honestly, I wasn't sure if I would ever see the uh, the shack break ground. So I was happy that it got started, and I'm happy that it's done, and uh, we get to spend the year here. But I definitely uh, wasn't able to imagine that it would even be this awesome uh, with the crowd and the way that the uh, of the community has responded to the new place. Is that grandma that bought the tickets? Like you said, she bought like 100 tickets? Uh, godmother, yeah. My godmother. godmother did, yeah. Okay. Thanks, one more question. Yeah. So being a kid from North Dakota, you know, growing up, you know, probably love the What does it feel like now to kind of your senior year, you're really starting to become successful in your senior year? It's just been an honor playing here. Uh, I'm extremely appreciative of the coaching staff that gave me a chance to go D1. Uh, I wanted to stay close to home, and uh, they gave me that choice. So I was happy with it. Uh, I got to play and, uh, and contribute on the highest level in my home state. So I got to have all my friends and family close while I did it. Uh, and that's really all I wanted. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't be happier with how my career has gone here.